Why did you seek me out? This realm must prepare for combat. We must prepare ourselves for dark magic. So the other day I made a video for Sub-Zero and a lot of people liked it. I did the same thing for Red Hood when he dropped. I plan on doing a video for each DLC character that they drop. Well, on Tuesday at the same time uh, the Guild Multiverse resets for the guild I've been in for the past probably six weeks. We did the first Guild Multiverse and we got this gear rarity drop boost. 41% increased chance to drop rare gear. So that basically means after every match with Sub-Zero I was getting epics. So I was able to just grind that out, and I finally got, as you can tell, a lot of stuff for him. Here's what the inventory looks like. I mean, it's pretty insane. Uh, but I was going to show him off. I already have loadouts. This is the one I was using to kind of grind endless battle for a while, just match after match. Uh, this is the two-piece. It doesn't really do much. Second health bar, you get one bar super meter when drop below 10%. But basically, just before you die, you get a one bar super meter which is kind of pointless don't really think it's worth it all the only reason I have this equipped because I there's three of these there's the ice clone becomes a ping one and then there's one where he becomes a snowman and then the uh, the five piece sub-zero's ice clone becomes a polar bear I'm gonna show those off in the video as well uh, that's that piece uh, that's the two piece here's the five piece I think it first off it looks probably cooler than anything else and I've seen the game not really sure how I feel about the cape. I think it does look kind of badass. Uh, ice weapon damage is increased by 15%. This is actually... I got pretty good stats on all of them. I might uh, I might start using this as my main. Opponents frozen by him. Special moves remain immobilized for an additional 50% duration. The whole polar bear thing is just kind of a show off, I guess. So that's kind of funny. I guess if you wanted to alternate it, since you would probably have to use the piece on the bottom to get that you could just take off that and just have the four piece and then use either of these two if you want a penguin or snowman which i think is kind of random that they would give him that all right here's the four piece this is uh the ice clones i don't really like this one too much the recharge rate 15 percent increase i don't really know how that helps too much i do think it looks cool but i don't know it's just not for everybody i guess and then this is i think the three piece this is the, every character seems to have one of these. This is probably the one that you really don't get. Hang on, what is that? Sub-Zero's Ice Clone become a classic Mortal Kombat victory pose. All right, I got to jump into a match and try all these. So hang on, guys, and uh, I will see you in a second. All right, so to make this uh, probably more entertaining, first off, I wanted to try, I guess the second loadout for me was the ping one. And I think the other one, let me just, I'm going to see if the computer would actually do it. Alright, so this is the five piece. I don't know what that's going to turn zero. into. I can't remember. I'm putting it on very hard. I'm about to get destroyed. But I just want to see the computer. I'm, I can show you the penguin and I'm hoping that they do the other one. Who are you? I am Sub-Zero, Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei. Or is it the evil sorcerer Shang Tsung? Begin. Oh, that's sick that they referenced that. Oh, oh, there's the polar bear. I was hoping he would do it for me. All right, there's the ping one. Nice. I'll show off the other two after this match. I'm gonna get destroyed because I have it on very hard. I wonder if I can knock him into the sign. I think it's this is the one where if you hit him into the sign twice, I believe it says finish him, like the letters. So it's like a Mortal Kombat reference. Oh, I'm getting. I'm getting bodied right now. Like, this is ridiculous. So, if you do it in the air, it doesn't... See, it's still... It's only a polar bear if you're on the ground. That's actually really sick. Yeah, I kind of want to see the other one. The other one's a Mortal Kombat victory pose. See if this connects. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Does no damage, because this is the only... This is the two-piece. So I have the other ones are like level one pieces of gear. <laughs> so I'm obviously at a disadvantage. Does it? Oh, it, it freezes afterwards? Are you kidding? That's so cool, though. I just wanted to see that, and I hadn't seen it yet. And I was like, let me make a video for it. Let the computer just destroy me. All right. It's going down, all right? Oh, it stays in air. I didn't. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess you can do it like that. Yeah. 
I actually think he's my favorite DLC character. I thought I would like the Red Hood better, but it just like the way they play, I just feel like Sub-Zero is a really balanced character. So, um, he has... He has a lot of, like, uh, rushdown, and I guess whereas Red Hood more seemed like a zoning type character. Sub-Zero wins. Alright guys, in between matches, I had to actually go back through, because I was going to do my uh, loadout 4 and 5 versus each other, which basically shows uh, Snowman and the Mortal Kombat victory pose. Uh, but the problem was, I had this thing on. And that basically meant where it takes a super long time to activate. It's not really worth it. I just I had it equipped just to have my loadouts varied, I guess. So I replaced it because it does make it to where you can't produce the ice clone. So I took it off and put Hammer Slam, which I thought was really sick. Here's all the other ones he has, though. I don't know if I've shown them yet. This is my favorite ice port. It's kind of like... Uh, the Swamp Thing has something kind of like it, where he just kind of shows up behind you, if I'm not mistaken. That or Supergirl, I'm not really sure which one has the ability to just transition behind you like that. Alright, let's see what we got loadout for. I'm going to put it on uh, the hardest difficulty again, hoping the computer will do everything as well. So, here we go. Fighters approaching Red Sun Prison. There should not be two of us. Our realm splinter timelines are merging. We must battle to save them both. Begin. I love the intro dialogue between them. All right, what we got? Oh, there's a snowman. Let's go, boys. All right, let's get it. I want to see the Mortal Kombat victory pose, but he has to do it for me. So here we go. Oh, I saw it for a brief second. I shouldn't have swung right there anyways. I don't know you could block it like that. Oh, that's so sick. And he throws it at you. Holy shit. I don't mind getting destroyed because I just wanted to show off everything. It's my hit. Oh, no. He's, are you kidding? That was so sick. Last minute, he did like an airdrop. And that was all she wrote. I think it's really awesome, though, uh, that I was able to get... Oh, that's pretty sick. I was able to get all of his stuff at once. So, I'm just really glad I was able to do that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, when Starfire comes out, I'm going to do a video for her. Uh, but for now, that's it. I still don't even have all the Red Hood stuff. I'm just going to let the computer just absolutely obliterate me right here. Sub-Zero wins. And I think this is actually... He actually rips off their head. I don't know if I've said this before, but that's what that is. At first, I thought he was grabbing the camera, but it's... He's actually decapitating him. So, anyways, with that being said, guys, seriously, thank you for all love and support. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Take it easy.